Well, good morning, magandang umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Today is build day 39. Yes, build day 39 on the construction schedule for the pool build in the backyard of Villa Feliz. This morning, more rock work, uh, rock work and stone work. So we're gonna go back in just a moment and take a look and see what our guys are doing. Exciting times. This is the finishing. Anything that has to do with finishing, I am really excited about. But then I am always excited about any part of a construction project. Well, let's go ahead and see what's going on in the backyard here. So without further delay, let's get today's video underway. <laughs> Now, our pool team, they are really resourceful. I bet you didn't know wh what you could do with PVC. <laughs> so this is one way to get coconut out of the coconut hull. And you can probably see here that this piece of PVC has some cuts in it. I don't know if you can see, but there is some cuts inside there and it helps grind the coconut. So any of the coconuts that fall from the trees around here, especially we need to have some fall from ours because it's about time to harvest, uh, it's always edible. It does not go to waste. Now what you see here, this is the supply of the rocks that they still have left over. So we have plenty of material for at least today or the next couple of days worth of work. We have our Portland cement over there. We have the rocks that's being used for the waterfall and the rock formation around the waterfall. And we have our Dow stone that's going to be used for the, for the sidewalk. Let's go ahead and go see what progress they've done this morning. Now you remember yesterday we left off, when they were working on their Dow stone here. They've gone around the skimmer area now and they're working their way around to the stone formation. I want you to look at the stone formation over here as well. Now the stonework for the waterfall is going to be a sort of a tier level. We're dropping off down and then we're going to meet up with the base of the bridge over here. So that's what our stone worker is doing today. Also continuing to do the buildup over here which is eventually going to have the Erdal stone as well that's going to go around the support, uh, the bridge support that goes down to the footer. And one of the features that our stone worker is going to put in for us back over in this area, he's going to put a basically a planter, uh, planter housing so that we can have some plants growing out of the rock on this side. Remember yesterday we talked about we have lots of plants over here, so it's not so much necessary to have too many more uh, uh, green items in the front because it's all green back here. But over on this side, a real nice feature to be put some kind of plants to integrate into the, the wall of the, the stonework. I think that'll look really nice. Now, every now and then, I make a statement on the channel during one of the episodes uh, that I later regret that I said. So yesterday's episode, I have an alibi for one of the things I was talking about yesterday. I made one statement, but after careful consideration and discussing it with our foreman over here and discussing it with the boss up inside the house, uh, we decided we're going to make a slight change to how the pebble rock, which is going to be the final finish on the coping of the wall of the pool, how it meets up with the Erdal stone. Now yesterday we were talking about how the, the pebble rock was going to go right to the top and just go right over the top of the Erdal stone and just stop there. But that kind of makes a little bit of a sharp interface right there. And if you want to use this as a sitting area, you want it to be as rounded as possible. So to stay in line with a lot of pool construction where the coping, the pebble rock, has a, a drop down of about one inch or, or more on, on, on both sides. Remember, we've got the bull nose on the other side. What we're going to do over here, when, when we're going to cut this off about an inch below, about an inch below, the top of the coping over here, which is going to be the pebble rock. And the pebble rock is going to go rounded off here with about a one inch ledge all the way around. That way, if you sit on the ledge over here, you want to sit by the side of the pool on the coping, 
it'll be nice and rounded and will all be the uh, the pebble rock here and not the Erdal stone. They could possibly uh, be a little bit jagged in some, some areas or if the pebble rock were to chip off you would still have a little bit of stone. That will give us a nice one inch finish of the, the pebble rock from here all the way around to the other side where the bull nose coping will end. And when I say plant box, this is what I'm talking about. They will make a little area that we can put some soil inside and then we can actually put a small plant, some type of a tropical plant that will give a little blend between rock and natural vegetation. And I asked them to make sure that if we have any leaking, that the leak comes out to the back sides. So if we have any soil, we don't want any mud or anything going over into the swimming pool. Uh, so that's what they will make sure that the, any of the overflow goes back over here in this area. I'm not really sure what time it is, but I know it's late. It's it's probably right around five o'clock. So these guys should be breaking any time. Some of them are doing some cleanup work here. Uh, some of them are still right deep into some of the stone laying and things like that. Well, anyway, the best thing to do is to show you where we are. We're gonna do a wrap up right here, right now, while the guys are working, because we don't really have much light left. You can see the light is going down. So it is the end of the day. Let's go inside the swimming pool and see everything that was accomplished today. So before we jump down into the deeper section here, we'll just look right here. One of the things that got attention today was the, the planter here. You can see it's getting thicker. The, the, the ledge or the coping area, that's going to be the coping area, it's getting thicker. And what they've done is they've cleaned the inside. So now you don't see the concrete, the rough concrete hollow block inside there anymore, at least on this portion, probably underneath here. It, they haven't updated that because the pipes are still there. Uh, some of the PVC pipe that they're gonna be using to pull some of the electrical through. Uh, but this is getting uh, to the point where they'll be preparing it for the coping very soon. Uh, so that's what they did here. 
We gotta clean up all this excess concrete inside here because we don't want it to mix too bad and contaminate the soil for our palm. Right now, our footer support for the bridge got a lot of attention today. Both of them did at both ends. This one right here, you can see they're starting to do the fill-in. Remember, this is going to come right about to this point right here. And it's gonna be rounded. And you'll see what I'm talking about when I talk about rounded. Uh, when we look at the stonework that's being done, I want you to look at this phenomenal stonework with the Erdal. Now, this is the master right here, uh, Obeng, the, the foreman. He is the master <laughs> with doing the, the stonework. I, I, I am so impressed by the quality and the, and the precision that he takes to get this exactly right. So you see how it is? We're going to have stonework. There's going to be no sharp edges. It's going to be very nice inside here. We're doing some nice rounding. So both of these columns that we have on this side, as well as this side over here, will look in the end like it does right here. It's gonna be really beautiful, and it's gonna complement the blue tiles, especially when it's wet. When you see this when it's wet, you can see some of it now. It's a little bit wet, but it looks really nice and dark when it's wet. Now, our stone man up here, doing all the stonework. Lots of stonework got done today. <laughs> uh, so we got most of it up against the wall of the waterfall. And he worked some on this side. And he worked some on this side as well over here. So we're slowly moving our way up towards the top of the waterfall. It won't be long before we'll put it, be putting some stone on the top as well. And what he's working at also over here, I think he said he's going to put another little planter over here so we can put a specialty plant, I think, in one, one little spot over on this side. I don't know. I don't know that it's even really that necessary for this side, but we'll see. Now, something I really noticed is that finishing takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time if you want to have it done right. And that's the thing that everybody sees is that final coat, whether it be paint or tile or woodwork or stone, whatever it is. And to do it right, again, it takes a lot of time. That's why we're to the point right now, even though most of the pool components are done, uh, the actual structure of the swimming pool, uh, all the little stuff like the tile work, the stone work, that's gonna take some time. So I expect they're gonna be working on that. Oh, I don't know, probably going into next week as well. But it's okay because that's what we see and we're gonna really enjoy all the effort and the hard work that these guys are doing with the stonework and the tile work. So it's okay if it takes them a while to do this and to do it right so that it can bring our dream to reality. Well, it's about time to close from right here in the backyard. I think I said this is day 38. I believe we are on build day 38. Tomorrow, build day 39. Another day. And uh, I'm excited to continue watching the progress of all of the finishing going on. Well, that's about it. If you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up. Please share. And if you have not subscribed, just click on that little My PI Dream Heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen. You'll be subscribed and notified the next time I upload a new video. So until such time from right here in the Philippines, you have a wonderful and blessed day. <laughs>